Good morning guys, it's Monday morning. Um, I just uh, literally opened cable um, and uh, WTI as well. It's very early in the morning for me, 6.07. Um, and um, this is worth a note because um, because of all the different stuff that's happened. I'm halfway through doing the my own analysis and I thought I would uh, make a quick video. So, um, October closed green. Um, that's the monthly chart we're on now. Uh, so remember we always want to close on the uh, bars and the RSI in order to um, really take uh, any information from it. Then we have the uh, weekly has closed with a bust pullback break and close massively bullish signal um, what else have we got here well we had a three candle reversal here and this has been the sideways thing that's the three candle reversal level there if I am correct in uh, literally I've just opened this so the low of that one is 7624 and the low of the green candle is 7720 do apologize it's an inside bar that's uh, deceptive actually low 7720 low 76 yeah so that big red bar is the lowest low so that technically speaking is the reversal bar having said that though you can clearly see what's happened here so you you can apply a little bit of discretion with this stuff as someone said to me the other day, you know, one candle's close is another person's wick, but uh, I believe in these reversals, so I'm happy to uh, uh, to uh, trade that way. So there's the close above that uh, recent resistance. What you could say is that this resistance has been broken and uh, it has to get through the next one in order to uh, continue up. So a test would be the option. The other thing of note here is this um, support the low of that uh, green candle once again it's just wise to try and find uh, a close through it I'm not going to prolong this video by uh, seeing whether it has been closed through because uh, we well it has by this bar here obviously but it was whether it was closed through with these two green bars so um, what else can we glean from these charts well uh, there's a descending trend line there. Uh, there's uh, a sideways, and now we've broken the high of that. That becomes a valid connection point, so uh, that's an ascending uh, trend. I was going to say it's a bit of a sideways trend there because it's not particularly uh, uh, momentumful. This pullback has uh, um, come back and tested this support area here didn't draw them in but there'd be monthly and weekly lows going on here most importantly though for me the RSI has done the old uh, pullback bust break and close twice bust pullback break and close pullback break and close pullback and it's busted through the high again that is massively important so the previous day's high which was Friday has been broken H4 now we have done a we did a bust break and close bust pullback break and close that's the bust level that's the pullback that's the break and close little bit toppy here but that's to be expected it's got to get through this level uh, it doesn't mean it will do so that's where the lower time frames come into play so once again we can draw a new descending trend line this is sort of how we trade patterns within patterns which was the whole point of um, multi time frame tra trading for me uh, first found when I had one two uh, two B reversals there's a two B sort of thing there and uh, then you can use a new two B over here to enter this two B and it goes on and on so you know uh, I've outlined this in all the videos that I've made so have a look see um, right so we're in a bit of a pullback after we've hit some sort of uh, support acting as resistance here but this is a long sort of long term analysis I'm not not looking at scalping this right now although having said that this whole um, this the eight hourly ATMA I don't say this enough I only really use it for the rubber band trade so 
Uh, difficult to know whether to dump it totally or leave it on the charts, but you know, try and ignore it when you're trading uh, your scalps unless you've got an extended, overextended ADR, and then that's when that comes into play as the rubber band effect. Back to the hourly ATMA. So there is actually divergence here, I can see. Higher highs making lower highs on the RSI. So, um, as I say, I was doing my analysis. I wanted to put the analysis out there. Uh, I might as well, as as I've uh, done my day's work, as it were, with a 12 pip uh, gold trade net of spread. So, um, what else can we do here? Well, we can do an ascending trend line. Uh, waiting for a possible break to the downside, of course. And then uh, what you do, you just use your three candle reversal levels to watch it continue to break them and possibly drift on down or possibly just test this uh, huge area of um, you know this is H1 so this is massive area of uh, uh, supply um, uh, demand rather well supply or demand it doesn't really matter it's supply when you're coming up to it in my opinion um, and uh, demand when you're possibly coming to test it so that area looks uh, pretty pretty darned significant there and all of this lot and there so uh, yeah interesting stuff uh, can't go long or short until the um, lower time frames confirm this so you know H1 RSI histo break and close uh, or bust up turn green pull back break and close above the high of the green bar and so on and so forth you know the drill now so that's it <clears throat> Um, this I am looking at, to, the best correlation I can uh, see is with uh, DXY and Euro USD. but Euro USD for me is like watching paint dry, I need to learn more about it in order to uh, optimise it, so what I do is I look at the DXY, the uh, dollar index, and then I just compare it to Aussie dollar uh, <coughs> cable at the moment, there's no doubt plenty more you know New Zealand dollar and stuff but the more is more it's uh, less is more more is more confusion in my opinion so uh, just choose a few say for example I I was looking at Aussie dollar to see if I could trade gold against you know so when they both uh, uh, correlate as it were to the to the same side Aussie being a commodity uh, currency miners and gold and iron ore and all that stuff and then gold obviously being a commodity and a metal uh, if they agree they don't always agree uh, and they disagree with uh, DXY then I will go for the fastest moving which is gold follow the um, RSI histo and three candle reversals and obviously support and resistance levels above and below and uh, that's how I am using the dollar index so Sorry for waffling on a little bit. hope this has been of some value to you. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, have a look at my Twitter feed as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And a great week for that matter. It's Monday morning.